everyone, it's Teresa with Yellow Daisy. And today I'm going to share our final reveal of our guest bedroom makeover. Let me give you a little bit of history of this bedroom. This was our daughter Courtney's bedroom and last September she got married. So I thought it was a perfect time to redo this bedroom. And I didn't want to spend a lot of money re doing this bedroom. So I declared it my thrifty makeover room and the challenge began. I knew that I wanted to use all of the furniture that we currently had in the bedroom and the other items that I would need for this room I wanted to get like on clearance or at thrift shops, garage sales, I started this makeover before we started our YouTube channel, so I don't have a before room tour for you, but what I do have is the before pictures of the furniture that I have used in this makeover. And I'll just put those pictures in like during the tour so that you can see what the pieces look like before I painted them. We do have some DIY videos on our channel that I have actually used in this room makeover. So I'll link all of those videos in the description box below in case you haven't seen those. You can go on over and check them out. So today I'm going to share the details of what I've done and where I purchased things for you in the room tour. And the room turned out exactly the way that I wanted it to. Um, it's very calm and relaxing and it has a mix of old and new and I love doing that in decorating. It just kind of gives, you know, a little bit of story behind some and certain pieces of your decor. So I hope you enjoy the room tour and let's go on and get started. Okay, so as you walk in the room, to the left is this dresser, and I will show you what the before looked like. And here's the dresser before. It is a 90s style, pine wood, washed, finished style dresser. And isn't it amazing what a little bit of paint can do to transform a piece of furniture? And I painted this the same way that I painted the footboard and I actually just posted a video for that so I will link that below so you can see how I got this painted finish. And for the top what I did was I took one by four boards and banged them up to make them look old and then I stained them. And then what we did was we screwed them into the top of the dresser from underneath. I didn't want any screw or nail holes on the top of the dresser, so we elected to attach it from underneath inside those top drawers there. And the mirror I found at Tuesday Mornings. And if you're not familiar with Tuesday Mornings, it's like a TJ Maxx or a Ross. It's a discount store. And the books and the dog I found over at my aunt's house. And we are in the middle of renovating my mom's childhood home. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll have that linked below. It's a before tour and we're totally renovating that. So you can go check that out. And I found this old wired egg basket at a vintage antique shop. And I had the fake plant that I had purchased from TJ Maxx. And I just sat it inside of it. And I really liked the way that it kind of gave it more volume and size on the dresser. And this little crown hook that's on the back of the door, we have had that for many many years it was Courtney's when she was here and I just love it so I kept it on the door and I don't remember where I got that one 
And for the blanket ladder, I just used some scrap wood that we had in the garage and I basically painted it the exact same way as I did the dresser and the footboard. And I don't have a tutorial for the blanket ladder, but there's many different tutorials on YouTube. You can just search blanket ladders and you'll be able to find it. They are super easy to make and you can do any type of variations that fit your style. And the galvanized bucket I found at Target Dollar Spot for $5. And I love the little wooden handles that it has. It just kind of adds to the character of that bucket. And I made this bulletin board many years ago and the little accents that you see on there were my grandmother's. That was her earrings and then I did her watch face off of one of her watches. The curtain and the curtain rods came from Walmart. They're the Home and Garden brand and they are a beautiful taupe color and the curtains have a linen-like texture to them. They are very, very nice curtains. And here's the bed before we did the makeover. And this is how it looks now. We added that tufted headboard and then you can see the footboard that I painted. And there's our daughter and son-in-law on their wedding day. And we have a full DIY tutorial on how we framed that wedding picture on our channel. And I'll link that below. The headboard is another DIY that we have on our channel. So if you haven't already seen it, I will go on and link that below. And you can go and check it out. The pillow shams are from Walmart. It's the Home and Gardens line. The pillowcase and sheet set came from TJ Maxx and the little gray pillows and then the cream accent pillar in the front. That came from Home Goods. The quilt I was already using on the bed, and that came from Steinmart. The tufted bench and the little pillow there both came from Home Goods. The wall sconces I found a tutorial on YouTube, and the channel was Shanty Chu Chic. These worked out perfect because, again, this was just some leftover lumber that we had in our garage and the kit for the light I actually found on Amazon. And I'm just showing you that I put a command hook on the wall behind the headboard so that it was easy for our guests to turn on and off those lights. And the candle holder I actually got at Walmart also. I purchased two of those, one for each side of the bed. This table I got at a yard sale for $10 and I just painted and distressed it. And the Kleenex holder I also made out of a mason jar, painted it the same color, paint, distressed it, and then put um, scrap paper on the top and just cut a slit in it for the tissues to come out. And this table was my grandparents and I just feel like it anchors perfect in this room, kind of helps bring that natural wood tones that I have in the room. So I thought it was a perfect addition to the space.
And I like to keep a little care package for our guests just in case they may need something. So that little pineapple wood box worked perfect for this. And we're on the other side of the bed and this little table I also got from my aunt's house. It was my grandparents and I painted it the exact same way. With this one, um, I had bleed through, so I liked the way that looked. So I didn't put any shellac or try to stop that bleed through. I love the way that it aged it. And I got this clock at TJ Maxx. The area rug in this room I got at Rugs USA and it is the hand woven jute rib solid rug. It's an 8 by 10 and I hit a really good sale for this area rug. It was like 55% off the original price. And I really like the layered look of the carpet and the little area rug. And this is a footboard that I just painted and I have a full tutorial on what I used and how I got this look, which is the same look as the dresser. So I will link that video below for you in case you haven't already seen it. This makeover did take me longer than usual just because of all the DIY projects that I had in it and also thrifting and yard sailing and trying to find the perfect pieces and accessories to put into this room. So don't be discouraged if you are in a project and it takes you longer to find the items to complete a room. Just stay focused on the overall look that you want and the feel for the room and it will all come together. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the description box below. And if you are not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you here as part of our Yellow Daisy family. And also hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss any of our upcoming videos that we have planned for our channel. Thanks for stopping by guys and have a great day. Until the next one, bye-bye.